Okay, doing a quick audio check. I can't do sync, can I? <laughs> Let's see what one, two, one, two. Okay, we are good. We oh, got open again. There we go. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Today is an extra bonus stream. It's unscheduled, so if you guys are new and you don't have notifications on, put go live notifications on. 
or go follow the other socials. I don't usually do bonus streams, but today is a special day. Today is one of the few times a year, actually one of the four times of the year in which there is a fishing tournament in Animal Crossing. As we know, we played on Thursday. Wait, did we play on Thursday? Yeah, we played on Thursday. No, it was Wednesday, one of the days. The shop was closed, so I played offline not yesterday. I think I played offline Thursday evening. Oh yeah, because the store is going to be closed Friday. So I couldn't like prep and like grind more fish yesterday. But today, I think I have enough bait accumulated for the fishing tourney. So, let us go ahead and get started. I hope everyone's doing well today. Hello. Welcome to chat, Naito. Okay. I love the fishing tourney so much. They're one of my favorite um, timed events in the game or holiday events. My, I think my PB ever for the fishing tourney has been 13 or 14. That's why we have PB in the title, so we're going to update that throughout the stream. Hopefully, my goal today is to get 15 fish. That is my goal. Because as some of y'all know, I deleted my save, so I don't have like my previous islands, so I don't have any of the collectible islands for this fishing tourney. So my goal is to get all the items, get a new PB of at least 15, if that's doable even. Okay. Isabel. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Tibbaland, it is 2.41 p.m. on Saturday, April 9th, 2022. Can you believe it? Today is Today on Tibbaland, we're hosting our very first fishing tourney. The tourney will run until 6 p.m. So we got about three hours left, guys. Anyone can participate. Just check in at the tent in the plaza. Now for additional announcements. Nook's Cranny is celebrating its grand reopening today. Where does the shop is a lot bigger now? And they have even more products on display than ever before. Anything that makes my shopping trips more exciting is okay by me. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you are interested in participating in halftime, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. On a slightly different note, oh no, bad news is coming. Oh fuck, oh yeah, so I played offline on Thursday, right? And then Gwen um, was like, hey, I want to leave. And I was like, sure. Because usually what I decide we're going to do, if a villager wants to leave during stream, we will run a poll in chat. But this was offline, so like my personal rules, if they want to leave, let them go, you know? Um, I was trying to think of, of that song lyric, it's like... I can't remember. Anyway. <laughs> Tomorrow, Tiblin bids a fond farewell to our dear friend Gwen. It's hard to say goodbye, but we wish her luck on her big or on her next big adventure. Be sure to stop by for one last chat before she leaves. Maybe bring some tissues, Sag. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Dude, I'm not used to streaming at this time of the day. I'm totally out of it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the panic song? Yeah, I was- Hi, Batty, welcome to the chat. I was thinking, like, the panic song. There's the- There's the other one. Where it's like, Oh, they know you've been howling you feel alone. Only miss the road when you're- Wait. Only miss the road when you're missing home. It's passenger, let her go! That's it! That's- that's the song I was trying to think of. Okay. My phone is ringing. Okay. Hello. This is Timmy from Nook's Cranny. I reached Megan, right? Fuck, how do you get my number? <laughs> oh my god, actually, I got legit four scam messages last night. And it was wild. Because it was like, I got four messages. All were like group chat with 20 other numbers within the succession of like an hour. And I was like flipping my shit because I was like, what the fuck? Did my number get leaked? But I, I looked it up and apparently lots of other people are getting scammed. So anybody? If you get a text message from an unknown number and they have a link, do not click on the link. They block the number. Not work. Okay? Tell your grandmas, tell your parents. Anyway, let's go back to back to the game. Okay. <clears throat> you sent a payment to your bank account for seven or seven. For nine thousand eight hundred and eighty eight bells for what you left in the drop off box. See, I played offline on Thursday. Hi Rady, welcome to chat. Is Timmy- I think if they're old enough to run a store, I think they're old enough to have a phone. I see fucking, like, little five-year-olds at Winko with iPads. So I, I think they're fine, they're fine. Okay. Thank you for using the service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. Okay, you could have just sent me an email. You don't have to freaking call me, dude. 
Okay. Honestly, hate when people call me. Like, no cap, I hate it. Because, like, I'm just so awkward. <laughs> I mean, in the States... I know in some states here in the U.S., like, kids can start working at, like, fucking 13. Which is actually crazy to me. Okay, so I think we need to talk to Gwen first before we forget to say goodbye to her. And then we can go ahead and get started with today's... Oh, she's all the way over here. Hi, Rose! Welcome to chat. Hope you are doing well today. Oh, bro, why is everyone here? <laughs> and Antonio's just watching. Homie, you're supposed... <laughs> I think it... Okay, it's so funny that they're all, like, right here. <laughs> Okay, we have to say goodbye to Gwen before we start fishing. Okay, okay, I kind of want to get this fish because not a lot of pond fish spawn. <laughs> and then we'll say goodbye to Gwen. Come on, did did. <laughs> um, I don't know how long I'll be streaming today. Probably for like two or three hours because. The only reason why I'm live now is because my parents are out doing errands. And it's awkward when I stream when they're home. Because they're always like, Megan, you talk way too loud. You sound so extra. You say gay shit all the time. <laughs> so I try I try not to stream when they're home. Oh, we got a new fish. The crawfish, baby. I've never had crawfish. I've always wanted to try it, though. Ah, okay. I remember watching Hassan react to MasterChef. And, you know, like, everyone is, like, super good at cooking on the show. And I, whenever they make crawfish, I'm like, dude, I, I want to try it so bad. <laughs> oh, we did. We did get the Disney bundle that has Hulu in it. So now I have Hulu. And we were looking at it last night. And apparently, they have, like, all the seasons of MasterChef on Hulu. So that's what I'm going to be watching for a while, I guess. Okay, let's say goodbye to Gwen. Sag. <laughs> Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you decided to come see me before I head out tomorrow. I'm excited, of course, but still a bit reluctant to leave my comfortable life here on the island. But you know what they say? You should do one thing that scares you every day. Yeah, leave the island every day? What? <laughs> Hopefully this counts for at least a week. Okay, yeah, what's a week? I think that's valid. I think it'd be cute if we could give them, like, a present on their last date, you know? <laughs> I wonder what a week so I wonder what awaits me on my new island. I only hope that I can embrace whatever comes. Oh. <laughs> of course, I'll never forget my time here or my friends. Sag. Sag. Oh my god. Move <laughs> house every day. <laughs> yeah. My parents, they want to, like, get an RV and just um, cross-country travel when they retire. Which I think is cool, but that seems so exhausting, TBH. Okay, you know what time it is? I think it's time to start fishing. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand what you're saying, Rose. Like, when I had my first island, like, I never got gold roses, and I was so upset because I don't mind the, like, the cross-pollinating and the planting of the flowers, but just, like, having to decorate my island all nice and terraform, that was more overwhelming to me, to the age. Okay, now we're starting fishing. Let let's get our fishing gear on, guys. You know, I have the fit. I have... The classic plaid. This is this one. I this is a men's. So like this part, like right here, is really wide. It's not as form fitting as I'd like it. But, you know, we got our plaid cut off top. We have the staple toothpick in our mouth. Okay, we got that shit. And I have my grandma's gardening hat to top it off. We are the world's best. This is so hard to talk with. I am the world's best fisherman. And I, I have to look the part, okay? Even though I've never gone fishing IRL, ever, I was offered and I said, no, that looks boring. Okay, I actually cannot have this in my mouth. That is, I cannot do it. <laughs> I actually like this a lot. I think my grandma's friend made this for her. It's like woven dried palm leaves. And then I think my grandma actually crocheted this part. Anyway. We yoinked it from our house last time we visited her. <laughs> okay, now let us continue with today's show. Bro, I actually hate wearing hats. This, you guys like the gag? I thought it was funny. Okay. 
the drip, honestly, honestly. Okay, I cannot do the toothpick thing. I, I was gonna get, like, you know, like, the long-ass skewers and do that as the bit, but no shot that's gonna fit in my mouth. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> bad joke, bad joke. Okay. <laughs> Yo, what's up, C Sports fan? I'm CJ, coming at you live. Hang on, of course I'm live. I'm right here. I love CJ so much. When I like do the voice for CJ, I'm just channeling like Logan Paul douchebag energy. You know, that's what I'm going for, guys. Anyway, I'm anchoring the premiere event of the spring C Sports season, the fishing tourney. So shine those hooks and get your reels ready, because between now and 6 p.m., the tourney is on. I need to calm down. <laughs> the rules of the fish you're turning are easy breezy. You just gotta catch as many fish as you can in three minutes. Every fish you catch nets you points. Then enough points you can swap them for slick fish swag. Also, there's a cooler in the tent. Any fish you catch will automatically get stowed there. Keep the pockets dry. That means as long as you got a fishing rod, you have all you need to compete. Simple, right? And you can enter as many times as you like. What do you say? Ready to get your feet wet in the fishing tourney? Then is waved for the first run. Um, I just wanted to talk to him. I actually didn't prep my inventory, so let's let's um go do that real quick. So, as you can see, look at all this bait I have. I was grinding for three days, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop. I don't need my vaulting pole. We don't need that slingshot. We don't need to defend ourselves today. <laughs> Do I need money? No, 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 no. Um, I'm working on upgrading my home storage. <clears throat> so it is fine. It is fine. I think I deposited like 60k in the bank last night or the other day. So I'm fine. But thank you, Reedy. I can make you a bridge. No, honey, it's fine. It's fine. You, you know what? I'll take instead. I'll take some fucking gifted subs. Ah! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But actually, maybe I'm not. <laughs> okay. Um. I only had one fishing rod. Okay, because I was waiting for the upgraded shop so I can see if I can buy like the the nicer fishing rod. So let's see if that's available because we did have the shop upgrade overnight. <clears throat> okay. Welcome to our newly renovated and expanded shop. I'm so glad you stopped by to visit us on our very first day in action. We hope you'll continue shopping with us here at Nook's Cranny. This couch kind of ugly, but I kind of dig it. Okay, let's guess how much this is. I think 50k. Is it okay? It's not antique. It's an elegant sofa. Oh, <laughs> 44k. Fuck this. I can't buy that. Maybe, maybe after the fishing tourney, we'll be able to afford it. Probably, honestly. Okay, let's see if they have the nice fishing rods. Oh, look at that! They do. They do. Okay, I need to buy like five of these. I'm kind of liking all the gray tools, though. I don't think I've ever seen them in that color. Okay, I think that's five. Yep, that's five. Oh, dude, I counted right for once. Okay. Now, if anybody- I don't know if anybody is, like, new to Animal Crossing. <laughs> I mean, I assume if you're watching, then you already play the game yourself. But my strat for the fishing journey? Only goofs, only dummy dumps will run around the island to try and get fish. The pro strat? is to dispense bait after every single fish. Now it has been a while since I've done a fishing turn, so it will take like a hot minute to get the timing down again. <laughs> okay, so what you are going to do is you're gonna make sure you have the bait highlighted, okay? As your like, as your, as your last selected item. That way it'll auto queue to dispense the bait. What's up, Fly Fisher? Wanna dip those toes in the fishing journey? 
entry fee is waived for the first run. Yeah, that's good. Aye, aye. All right, I'm gonna spray three minutes on the clock for you to catch as many fish as you can. Oh, there's also a bonus that'll backstroke if you can. <laughs> also, there's a bonus that'll backstroke if you can catch at least three fish. See, like the minimum is three fish. I. Okay, if you get three fish, what is wrong with you? Like, actually. <laughs> you done nibbling on all that? Because it's time to launch. Oh, wait. Okay, the timer did go. Oh, fuck, he scared one. Okay. I'm not holding my net. I already, already screwed. I already flubbed. I'm already throwing. Okay, so what you want to... I don't think this is the best spot either. We got one. Easy. In the bag. In the cooler. And you can quickly dispense a new bait. And then instantly cast your rod. Okay, maybe get nine or ten. Oh, okay, that one was quick. That one was quick. We're already 40 seconds in. I got two fish already. And the trick is you're gonna wanna. <laughs> what is this? A speedrun tutorial? <laughs> oh fuck, I fucked up! God damn it. Okay, let's go again. Yeah, I was trying to see if there was like a world record, but I couldn't find anything. So if anybody wants to like look that up right now and like see what the actual Oh fuck, I pressed I pressed A instead of X. Okay, I can I can maybe get six this round. Maybe six. Like I said, it's been a while. It takes a, a minute to get like the timing down. Oh, that was almost a big fish. Almost. So the trick is you have to time it in a way that you can open your inventory before the camera moves fully to like third person POV because you'll save like half a second. To compare, see how I'm waiting to go all the way to like the full upward shot? Okay, I don't know if I'm explaining it very well. <laughs> Okay, what's nice about most of these fish is that on the third, like, tap is when you can, like, pull your rod in. So that's actually looking pretty good. Okay, we got six. Yeah, I timed that wrong. Sag. <laughs> oh, that was only two taps. Okay, that was a lucky one. That was a good one. Well, let's see, let's see if we can get one more fish. One more fish. Oh my god, I saw a new butterfly! Okay, uh, please don't fly away. I need that butterfly. Okay, I messed up, I messed up. I threw, I literally threw. And I dropped my net. I literally threw. Okay, where's my net? Okay, we got seven. Seven is decent, I think, for a first try of the day. I think that is decent. So, it's acceptable, but not world record. I mean, I need to get a PB today. PB is either going to be 14 or 15. Oh, the butterfly's gone, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, I needed that one. End me. Hey, hey! There's my favorite angler. So how was it? Have fun? Yeah, it was fun, dude, honestly. I love fishing in the game so much. The fish you got are all pardoned in the cooler. You can fetch them later. Or if you don't want them, I'll buy them. I need fresh fish for my live stream to keep my followers falling. But first things first, let's check out what you caught on the journey. <clears throat> looks like you stowed seven looks like you stowed seven fish in the cooler. Oh with a solo bonus <laughs> waiting in at three more fish. <laughs> Splash, that's nine points. So high yeah, dude, me too. Pour that into your points pool. If you get enough points in your pool, you can swap them for some slick fish swag. Okay, let's go again. Um, yeah, I don't think I got any rare fish, <laughs> so I, yeah, same did. <laughs> Batch. <laughs> Dude, I love Batcha so much. Mm. 
Okay, so we're gonna make sure... We have our bait selected. Before we start the tourney. Make sure we are holding our fishing rod this time. And we're gonna go again. We are fully prepped and ready to go this time. First round was a warm-up. Let's change our title to PB of 7. Actually, real quick. Okay, title is now updated. Yo, Flagfish! I am packed to the gills with fish turning knowledge. Ask me almost anything. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> Bro, I think charging 500 bells is a scam. I feel like that's the equivalent of like 50 bucks. Okay, we're, we're speed running. I don't care about the flowers. Dispenser bait. Cast our rod. Record time. Okay, third tap. That's good. We're on track. One fish in the first 15 seconds is pretty good. Hope you guys are, like, actually <laughs> picking up strats. <laughs> oh, come on. That's the third tap. Unlucky, that was four taps, that was not good, that was not good. Yeah, like I said, I think my personal best has been either 13 or 14. But on that on that run, I think I had like five fish that that got hooked on the first tap. <laughs> Batty out here like actually learning strats. Imagine. Okay, it's a baby fish. This might be a first tap. Nope. I think it's so funny to me. Because, like, I'll post clips of Mario Kart on TikTok and stuff. And, like, sometimes people were like, I feel like I'm actually learning something from this clip. Because it'll be, like, something for, like, a skip or a trick. And I'm like, homie, that's wild. That's crazy to me. Because I'm, like, the worst at Mario Kart. Okay, I'm not the worst, but I am decent. Okay, I am decent. Okay, actually, how did I get 13 one time? Th this is baffling to me. Because we have about a minute left, and I've only gotten five fish. Which is, I think is pretty good. Five is pretty good. Educational stream. Change my category, guys. <laughs> If we got a middle left on the clock, we got a solid six fish. I think, since this is our second try of the day, I'm still, like, getting the timing down. Oh my god, I almost tapped too early. Okay, we can for sure get two more fish. We can get two more. Maybe three. Okay, probably two, honestly. Oh, that was a two tap. We can make ooh, two more fish, maybe. Oh, it's a big guy. Ah, it's a four tapper. count? I feel like it didn't count because it wasn't in my hand at the end. I actually got scammed. Okay, one second. Camera has... <laughs> Camera mod check? <laughs> Nani? Ruh -ruh. Come on. I think the camera sensed how angry I was. Hey, camera is back. There we go. Can y'all still hear audio? I think so. Okay. Back to it. Okay. 
I feel like I actually got scammed of that ninth fish. Speaking here? Cool. Thank you, Addy. That's disappointing. I mean, new PB, eight. Eight's pretty good. Not as good as nine. That was almost a nine. You know, eight is decent. Yeah, sell them all. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I need that cash money. Cause I'm broke in this game right now. It feels bad. Okay, we're gonna prep our inventory. We've already used a lot of bait. Are we holding our fishing rod? No. I, I don't like how it auto puts away the fishing rod. Oh yeah, because it broke at the end there. Okay. We have our bait queued up. We have our fishing rod in hand. Attempt- Oh, I gotta change our title. New PB is 8. New PB is 8, guys. We are gonna hit 14 today. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Try number 3. Ran into the boulders at the start. I'm already throwing. Okay, two taps. Okay, today is just gonna be me saying like one tap, two tap. <laughs> Ooh, do you see how quick I opened the inventory that time? Dude, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Oh my god, come on. I think the most taps official take is like four. That's three tapping. Ooh, it's another big one. You're not a rare fish, though, sad. Okay, we're doing good. We are halfway through. Minute 30, we got four fish. We're on track for an eight or a nine fish run right here. You guys said that I'm getting a lot faster at opening the inventory now. I think I'm getting it. That's a three tapper. Okay, we're on track for nine fish run right now. If we get lucky and get a two tapper for two of these fish, this could be it. Come on. I appreciate the lurk, you Julie. Thank you for coming in and saying hi. Love you too, hon. <laughs> if we can definitely get two fish today. We got 30 seconds to get two fish. We can totally do it. This is this is gonna be a nine fish run. Okay, we got we got 25 seconds. 25 seconds. Thank you. Thank you. I planned this bit. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, there's not enough time. See, like, if you get me and you get, like, three one-taps in a row, that's, that's like, a 13 or 14 fish run. But nine? That's another PB, guys. That's another PB today. <laughs> I, I think it's so funny that I'm treating this like a speed run. <laughs> okay, nine is good. 
Wait, actually, I think I saved a picture of my PB. I don't know where I would have put it, though. Oh, it's probably in my Switch galleries. I don't think it's on my phone. I mean, it makes sense that it would be in my Switch picture gallery, not my actual phone. Oh. Okay. That was a good run. Oh my god, 20k? What was in there? Actually, like, what was in there? <laughs> I didn't get any new fish, so I'm not too concerned, honestly. Okay. We have our bait queued up, fishing rod in hand. Before we head into the next match, if you are new to chat, and you see words in chat that you don't know, those could be super cool third-party emotes. And you can download these three extensions if you are on desktop to see those emotes. It definitely... Makes the Twitch viewing experience ten times better. Take some time, download those extensions. Have fun, I love emotes in chat. That's all. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we have a bait for probably... Three more rounds? Oh, I gotta change my PB to nine! Maybe? Okay, PB is now updated. Okay, let's go again. My goal is to, like, at least get 9 again. That is my goal. Okay, go! We're not gonna run into the boulders this time. Straight to the water. Wait, there's already a fish here? Oh, dude, we got lucky. We got lucky. This could be it. Actually, no. End me. Dude, I lost 10 seconds. I lost 10 seconds right at the start. Oh my god. Not cool. And of course it's a four tap. <laughs> this is not it. This is probably gonna be like a six... Most likely a five fish run right here. This is an L. I wish there was a way to, like, you know the animation of the fish, like, twirling around the fishing rod after you hook it? I wish there was a way to, like, make that faster. Kind of like how when you're cra- Kind of like how when you're crafting, if you spam the A button, it'll make you pound the hammer faster. Okay, this is actually a horrible run. I should not be wasting bait on this to VH. Yeah, we only got three fish in the first half. <sighs> I don't want to waste my time. I'm gonna be honest. I do not want to waste my time. Bad run. I'm not gonna waste my bait. I'm gonna just dig for more bait right now. <clears throat> Literally not worth. I'm sorry. Th this no way that was gonna be like a ten run. No shot. Because that bait is so difficult. It took like me two hours to grind. Like those 60 bait that we had at the start. So I'm not wasting it on a non-winning run. Okay? Okay. If you're gonna get mad at me, actually just spam like me and Emotion Chat. <laughs> Don't actually give me shit. <laughs> like just be spamming my punch mode and then I think that is fine. I think that is reasonable. <laughs> oh, okay. I think you do get bonus points if you hit three fish. Which we hit, so we'll start- we're still gonna make CG happy with this run. Yeah, thank you, Batty. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> CJ's probably looking at us like, what are they doing? They're supposed to be fishing right now. He's gonna pull me aside. Be like, hey kid, what are you doing, son? <laughs> I, I was trying to think of like a scenario where like I'm the player and CJ is the basketball coach, but like 
I couldn't think of the joke in time. I I'm practicing my improv, okay? Okay. We got. Oh, it didn't even count. Scammed. Oh, right back. Because I like to think I'm kind of quick with my jokes, but I'm not. I'm not as good with my jokes like on screen. Like if I'm texting somebody or like on Discord in like a group chat, I think I'm pretty quick with my comebacks. Like I can brew up something really good, pretty quickly. But like when I'm on camera by myself, it takes like a bit. It takes like a few extra seconds to process and think of something somewhat funny to say. And like half the time, I like I think the joke is good, but then like I just don't commit to it. That's why sometimes you'll see me like try and say something and then I kind of like just stop with the bit halfway through. Anyway, comedy. <laughs> I I seriously wanted to try and take like improv classes at one point. Like legit, no cap. I was gonna like sign up for them. But then, pandemic happened, so sad. <laughs> I was also gonna take, like, salsa lessons, because I thought that would be cool. Because imagine you, like, go to a party, and you just break out your salsa moves? Wouldn't that be so sick? Okay, I know the last run was a flub. I messed up too many times, but we're gonna go again. Okay, we have our bait. Wait, get a fishing rod in hand. I have I have to say this aloud every time. Even when I play by myself, like I have to say it audibly out loud to like kinda like check off the boxes that I have everything ready. Okay, fishing rod in hand. Fishing bait is queued up in our inventory. Okay, another thing. If you stand here, right, and talk to CJ or stand here, you're technically closer to the water if you talk to CJ here. So you're saving a millisecond. <laughs> Bro, this is like what the type of shit like actual speedrunners do. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, there's a fish! There's a fish! I didn't line it up. Excited. I thought it was gonna be a three tapper, but it wasn't. It was a four tapper. Oh, look, we got a one tap from the start. That's pretty good. That's good. RNG is kind of in our favor, but we actually kind of threw again. Uh, <laughs> but let's let's hope this is not gonna be a total flub. Okay, two tapper. That's looking good. We can maybe come back. Ooh, that execution was perfect right there. Oh my god, another one tap! Oh god, okay. Dude, RNG fucking lows me today. Okay, three fish in the first minute. After the first hiccup, that's actually really good. The game is feeling bad for us, guys. Ooh, two tap bro. Okay, this might be... This might be a nine or a ten. New PB, new PB, come on. I almost clicked. Okay, it's a four tap. Okay, we know for sure if it's not a three tap, it's gonna be a four tap. Ooh, two tap. Okay, if we get a PB, guys, you guys have to spam. I was here, okay? That's that's the rules. If this is gonna be a ten, four fish in fifty seconds. I don't know. Might no. Okay. Maybe. Pushing it though. 
Hi, Cloud. Welcome to the chat. Hope you are doing well today. Uh, three fish in 30 seconds? I don't know. Oh, two tapper. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. This might be it. This might be it. Okay, this is gonna, definitely going to be at least a nine fish run. It's all nine fish. Okay. At least we got our previous amount of the day. Nine fish run. That was good. That was good. See, if I didn't mess up with the start, it would have been a ten. It would have been a ten fish run, guys. If I didn't hiccup twice. Uh, see, that, that is like a world record pace for that run. Yeah, it's still good. I'm still like proud of that one. I think I actually posted my PB on an Instagram story from like two years ago. I'm gonna have to find that. I think it was either a 12 or a 13. That was a good run. I'm actually proud of that one. Are you guys having fun? Because <laughs> I know I love the fishing tourney events so much. Wait! Oh fuck, I, did, I didn't queue up my shit. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'm not gonna flub. Okay, so we have our bait queued. Fishing rod in hand, just to make sure if the fish bait is queued. I'm gonna stand at a diagonal right here. I think that is gonna be the best running line. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> okay, let's go again. We're ready. We're ready, guys. Go! This is the fishing content I need. I know, right, man? Oh, that's a two tapper. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good. Okay, the small fish usually tap quicker. Damn it! I got I got too excited there. My anxiety was kicking in. Back on track. Guys, if we don't beat our PB of 13, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, crying is good content, let's be honest. Like, I would just go to full cam. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, honestly, if I'm ever at the point where, like, I'm so audibly and visibly upset that I would be crying, I would literally end stream. Because it's like, I can understand that, like, if you do end stream, it will cause concern for, like, people in chat. Be like, oh my god, is Megan actually okay? But then it's like... I don't think it's appropriate to be broad broadcasting yourself when you're that vulnerable, you know? Because I feel like when you're that upset, you're gonna say stuff that you're gonna regret saying later on. And especially with the live content, you, you can't, like, edit it down afterwards. And, like... Do it a first tapper? Oh my god. <laughs> and then also, with a live stream, you don't necessarily know who's like live recording your stream. Because I'm sure like every big streamer, there's always going to be someone like screen capping it, you know? So even if I do, for example, like disable clips, 
or like unpublished blog, there might be a slight chance that some homie is like still recording the stream. So like, guys, if you are ever upset that you're crying, just end stream. It's it's literally not worth like. Oh, it's a two tapper. I know exactly like. Because, like, there's not much you can do as a viewer, right? Like, you want to help, but sometimes you can't, right? Oh, okay, I wasted a bait. I should not have gone for it. Uh, literally not enough time. I was- I was trying to get- wait, did I get 9 or 10? Uh, or 8 or 9. I think I got a 9 there, right? Or an 8. It was 9 or 8 I got. I don't think it showed the banner on screen, actually. And, like, also talking about crying on stream. <laughs> like... There's always gonna be things that streamers or, like, YouTubers or online creators are gonna keep to themselves. And, like, the reason why they do it is for their own personal safety, right? Because once you show that you are so vulnerable, people are gonna use that to, like, attack you or use that against you. And I don't want that to happen, you know? Like, I think I'm fairly open about stuff, but then some things, like, I'm gonna keep to myself, right? drama frogs <laughs> honestly yeah because like what'll happen is if you have like an extreme moment of vulnerability people who don't know you or know your content are either gonna come in and be mean to you or like judge you based off of that one incident and it, it just doesn't seem good for your image right or your own personal branding Oh, we got nine fish that run? Dude, that was actually a good one. <laughs> Two nine fish runs in a row? Dude, let's go. Okay, before we head into our next run, we are about an hour into stream. You guys know what that means. It is time for an ad. I know, I am sorry, but it is part of the Twitch contract. <laughs> anyway. So you can subscribe for just $4.99 a, a month. Skip that Starbucks coffee. Skip it once a month and you can afford to have ad-free viewing, super cool sub emotes, or you can link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account and get a free subscription every month. Isn't that insane? <laughs> I think my, my Amazon Prime right now is going to be scootish, but I'm probably going to switch to either Cuterly or Rainy next month. So... We will see some of you guys in a few. <laughs> or if any gifters want to give them subs, imagine. Okay, back to the game now. I I think the sub spiel is kind of cringe, but I also think it's kind of funny. Because one day it's gonna work. One day some homie's gonna sub with Prime and I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay, let's check our inventory. Um, we have enough bait crafted for one more run. And then after that, we're gonna have to start farming more clams. So this is going to be the final run for probably 20-ish minutes. Okay, we're gonna make sure we have our bait queued up. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna craft the bait at the clams I have in my inventory now. Cause what if, what if? This run is actually the 12 or the 13 fish run. So I want to make sure I have bait ready. Just, just, I know we've gotten two nines in a row. Maybe. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. Awkward. No, I don't want any of this shit. Okay, I'm meant to craft bait. I know I can craft my own worky bench, but I keep forgetting. Okay. 
Yeah, homies who had to watch that, y'all aren't missing much to BH. You're just gonna see me crafting bait, so. Another reason why I'm doing this now is because I feel bad for the nonsense of Sedge. I mentioned it on Tuesday stream, but I am- I chose to manually run my ads instead of doing the timed ones because I think it is better to kind of like choose a time in which people might- like they don't necessarily have to be watching the full thing. Kind of like now while we're like, I'm not fishing. Like hopefully by the time we're done crafting, all the ad watchers will be back and see that they didn't really miss anything too special. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel bad. Because for the longest time when I started watching Twitch, I didn't understand how like subscriptions work. But like every single channel, I would watch like every single ad and like... I thought subscribing was just like a YouTube subscription where you just like follow them. I didn't realize that it was for like ad previewing until like two months after I started watching Twitch. And if y'all are watching Twitch on a budget, cough cough, I would recommend investing in Twitch Turbo. I'm not gonna say what it is, but you know, look it up and see what it is. It is pretty poggers, it is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, we're done crafting. Okay, we got 19 bait prep. I think we're good for this last run. <laughs> okay, this hat is getting kind of annoying because I have a big head, right? And it's almost too tight for my head. Or my brain is too big. We don't know. Oh, also, I set up a new extension the other day. Oh, great. I didn't activate the command. Anyway, <laughs> if you look in my about section or there should be extension enabled if you're on mobile at the top of your chat box, you can use bits to put stickers on screen. Uh, let me do one real quick. Just so you guys can see it. Oh, let me actually pull it on screen so you guys can actually see it. <laughs> <laughs> I totally blanked for a second. <laughs> okay, let's hope she will load and not brick my computer. Okay. YouTube time. <laughs> Okay, so if you are on Twitch, right, and you go to my channel... Oh my god, look, I'm live! Okay, so if you scroll down in the About section, right here, there's stream stickers. And you guys can use bits. I made them cheap. It's literally just a quarter. And then... The sticker will show up on screen. Isn't that cool? I get them for free because, you know, I'm the one who enabled them. But if you guys, like, want to look for something fun and interactive to do on stream, you can try doing stickers sometimes. I don't know. I thought some people might like it. Um, some people were telling me, do more base stuff for stream. And I was like, sure, I will start with the stickers. Okay, that's all. That's literally all that's new for stream. Okay. Because <laughs> I think I have custom stickers, which as of right now, is just, like, sub-emote PNGs. And then there's some default stickers that I have enabled. But yeah. Okay, back to fishing therny. <clears throat> like I said, this is probably gonna be our last run, and then we're gonna start like farming for more bait. <laughs> then it's gonna be more chill, just chatting stuff. So less more of the, or less of the eat. I just realized I don't have my fishing rod in hand. Fuck me. And me, sorry. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm already throwing. Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Oh no, oh no. See, I get distracted very easily. Oh my god. Okay, this is not it. This is... Oh no. I... <laughs> this is not it. This is not the run. Guys, we've wasted tw literally 20 seconds already. 20 seconds for one fish? Despicable. Okay, that was a really quick inventory pull, though. Like, actually. Oh, a one tap for big fish? <laughs> I've been watching too much fucking XQC. I need to stop. <clears throat> Okay, 
okay, this run might be safe. Okay, okay, we got three fish in a minute. Oh, five. That's decent. That's pretty good. Okay, that fish swam the wrong way. RNG. Oh, I hate this shit. When it goes zigzags in the water. Actually, stop it! Stop! Uh! <laughs> this run is actually ruined. I thought I could salvage it, but this one stupid one tap fish. Okay, I did not throw the hat off. It clipped the back of my chair. And it happened to fall off my head. I am not angry, just to clarify. It fell off my head. Kinda like how a plate gets broken, the plate happened to break. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Honestly, that hat was getting kind of annoying, so... <laughs> Ooh, a one tap big fish again? Oh, Dude, this run would have been so good! Okay, if we don't beat nine fish, I'm gonna be so upset. Okay, not this run, I mean just in general. Just another one of these guys. Actually, stop. All these one tappers guys. They they're they just hate me. Okay, seven fish is pretty good. For an absolutely horrible run, seven is still pretty good. It's a lot better than our first run of the day. Which I think we got five on our first run. So seven. Lucky number seven, guys. I'm usually not used to like brimmed hats either. So like anytime I try and like sit back in my chair. The hat like flips my chair. So you can see here. Like my hat doesn't stay on. So, like I can't be comfy with this silly hat on. I mean it is a good hat for when you're doing yard work, which is its intention. So I can't be ragging on it too much. so funny how CJ says, I'm so hyped, every time. <laughs> okay, we have our bait queued up in the inventory. Fishing rod in hand. I think we are ready to go. I'm gonna get some water real quick. Okay. This is going to be our last run for a little while. After this, we're gonna grind up some bait and then try again. Okay, we got three minutes. We have three tapers. We're on track in the first 15. That's good. And there's a train going by. It's gonna distract me. We had two tapper on the second pitch. That is great. That's really good. We are on track for one fish every 15 seconds. Oh, 
the game. It's really good. I I, th I think I just need to like zone in and just concentrate this round. Oh my god, oh one tapper. Oh one tap. One tap? <laughs> We got another one tap. Guys, this might. We have five fish, a minute 35 left. I believe two. This could be. A 10 fish run right here. We are on pace for a 10 fish run. Just four more fish, a minute 15. We got a two tapper. We have 40 seconds left. That is more than enough time for two fish. Nineteen seconds. seconds to spare we got a 10 fish run on our last try for about 20 minutes yes you were here buddy you were here okay okay oh my god my heart is literally racing right now oh my god okay i need like a minute okay <laughs> that was a good run that was an amazing run. That was like perfect. Okay, I thought I saw a bait, but I guess I got you baited. <laughs> okay. Is he gonna say a new record? Please tell me I got a new record. Okay, I thought he was gonna say I guess he's not going to validate me right now. <laughs> okay, I actually need to see what my previous best was. Because I posted it on Instagram. And I need to look through my story's archive. Oh no, it could be in the Animal Crossing highlight. Okay, okay. Give me a second, give me a second. <gasps> Guys, I thought my personal best was 11. But literally... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna screenshot it and show you guys. Okay, my phone is on do not disturb, so I'm not gonna leak anything. Okay, I'm not gonna leak. But look. This is my PB from two years ago. And if you look... Okay, I'm gonna focus. <laughs> but... It says 10. It says 10. Yeah. <laughs> Zoom in. Can you, can you guys see it? <laughs> it's not gonna focus. It says 10. I swear it says 10. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look, it says 10. It says 10. So we just got the same PB I got two years ago. That's good. Okay, I honestly thought my PB was like 12 or some shit, but if it's 10, I think I am happy. I am happy with that. Okay, back to the game. What is he doing? 
Okay, so now I don't have nearly enough bait for another run. New PB is 10. 10 is really good. So we are no longer in fisherman mode. I can take off the hat for now. Thank god, that was getting annoying. <laughs> okay. So for a little bit, um, I think we'll be live for about two hours today. Because I want to focus on editing clips today. Um, just gonna be normally fishing and then grinding more bait. <laughs> no more fishermen. It'll, it'll be back. It'll be back. I promise. Copium. Go oh, right here, right here. Okay, so this is more like just chatting. Chill time. So if anybody in chat wants to like ask me questions, go for it. Dude, I, I, I legit thought my PB was like 11 or some shit, but if it's 10, we just got the same PB. I think 11 is possible, but it'll be very difficult. Dreamer, what is your plans for the island? <laughs> so, I think what I want to do is, even if I get terraforming, I kind of want to keep the existing landscape, because, you know, um, deforestation is bad and evil, right? We should preserve our our island. So I kind of want to keep the original like architecture, or not architecture, the original landscapes, that type of thing. Okay, I need my tools. Um, I'm trying to put like all my bugs and creatures in my inventory. That's why they just there's just random junk on the ground. So once I'm able to upgrade my home storage, that'll be fixed. Um, right now I just need to focus on grinding up money. That way I can upgrade my storage, and then I'll start decorating. <laughs> oh yeah, I need the vaulting pole. Right here, right here. I think that's all I really need for now. I don't really need anything else. <clears throat> and then, I don't know what type of aesthetic I really want to go with. But I think, I just want to make it... Like, I like flowers a lot. I like having, like, little garden areas. On my previous island, I had a lot of areas where people could, like, sit down and eat. Mainly because I love food. Yeah, I did the same thing too, Naito. Like, I just terraformed my entire island. And just made everything flat. And then I built it up from the ground up. Because my previous island, I think, was three-tiered. It, it was... I scared the bugs away. God damn it. I haven't caught any of those yet, I don't think. Make the fish go extinct. Yes, all leaders are hypocrites. If you haven't learned that yet, Batty, now is the time to learn. This is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship. I am the main funder and investor for this island, so I decide how it's run and done. Deal with it. Wicked. <laughs> Hi, welcome to chat, Alexis. Hope you are doing well today. You have lots of flowers. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, hun. I I think for now, I kind of want to try and get them on my own, but if I'm, like, unable to find, like, rare flowers on a abandoned island, then my, maybe I might hit you up on that. Maybe. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate it. I think also with this island, with my previous one, I didn't um, download any like custom, what would you call it? Not custom patterns, I think. The ones in which you could put like custom tiles or custom decorations down. I think I might like purchase some or look up some on IG or something because like I want my island to look cute as fuck, you know? Like I want it to be aesthetic. I want my island to be all over Pinterest. Okay, that is my goal. <laughs> Villager revolution incoming. No, 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 no. They all love me, okay? Like, I haven't... Okay. 
I was gonna make a joke. I'm gonna make a joke. I will say the joke. No, no, no. Uh, no, 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 no. I was gonna say, if, if someone gives me a sub, I will say the joke. If not, I'm not leaking the joke. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It was a bad joke. It was a bad joke. That one is staying in the Disney vault, guys. <clears throat> but, like, all the villagers love me. Like, I'm the one who convinced them to come to my island. The only person who might not like me is Gwen. She was always, like, a little bit sassy. But she's leaving tomorrow, so it's no big deal. Yeah, they always have the option to leave. If they don't like it, they can leave. <laughs> the trash I dropped the other day is still there. <laughs> See, all the other villagers don't clean up either, so it's not just me. We are not getting a lot of bait, guys. This is very disheartening. Okay, I want you to guys- I want you guys' opinion. I want you guys to tell me if this is cringe or not. So, for the Animal Crossing streams, for like this segment in particular, where I'm just like doing the dailies, running around the island, you know, nothing too crazy or engaging. Is it cringe if I spend $10 to buy a book with conversation starters in it and then use that as like a bouncing off point for topics? Is that cringe or no? I think it's brilliant. <laughs> because if I don't tell you guys I bought a book, you guys will just think that I'm super cool and think that I'm really good at coming up with things to talk about. Because I bought like the sample of the book for my uh, tablet. And like, it has like 20 questions in the sample. And like the book is titled like a thousand questions. So is it cringe if I spend $10 to buy that book? I lost the fish. Sounds interesting. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Why are you lolling, baddie? I'm asking for real opinions, homie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> because I assume of those thousand of those thousand questions, like I would say maybe a hundred are too personal or which questions that I will like literally dox myself. So I'm probably only gonna get like 900 questions worth from that book. But I think 10 bucks for 900 questions is pretty good. That's like content for weeks, guys. That's like 900 TikTok clips. Dude. It'd be very good. <laughs> Dude, that's the Pepe laugh, right? <laughs> I love Pepe Love so much. If you guys haven't already, um, exclamation extensions in chat. If you haven't already, download those third party extensions. You will see more super cool Pog O emotes on Twitch desktop. Please download them. It is really fun. Homie, why'd you move the wrong direction? Because my favorite thing to do in Twitch chat is. Similar, my my chat style is very similar to Mr. Baddies in chat, where it's like a comment and then like an accord a correlating emote next to it. Like that's my that's my personal chat style as well. Mainly and like also just like normal emotes as well because sometimes I don't feel as like I guess extra or as comfortable like typing normally in chat. Oh yeah, I think it's really cool and fun. How many bait do we have? We don't have many. That sucks. So I, I wanted to try and get at least like three more attempts for the fishing tourney. But at least we got our PB. We tied it from the one from two years ago. I'm still happy with that. And I think we can sell our fist to CJ, too. Ooh, I think another thing I want to do with the island is... 
similar aesthetic to my previous one. I want to have like a farm area. Ooh, I want to have I want to have one villager have like a huge ass property, and their property is just farms, so they can be like the local farm district or whatever. Okay, I'm placing these here. That way, I know to donate them later. Now, this is communism. We all contribute to the island equally. Even though it seems like I'm the main investor. It seems like all the other villagers are just slacking around. Everyone has to do their part. So if one villager has to be the local farmer, then so be it. I clicked on the wrong option. I meant to sell fish. I'm sorry. I'm wasting your guys' time. <sighs> also, do you guys like this later streaming time? I'm not saying it's permanent, but if enough people like the afternoon on the weekend, I might do them more often, question mark. Possibly. I don't know yet. Because I've been thinking. For the Mario Kart challenge streams that I usually do on Tuesday, a baddie says weekend is good. Okay. We got baddie on board. I'm gonna be honest. It is very difficult to think of like new challenges to do for Mario Kart. Meaning, not saying that we're gonna stop doing them. It's just like... There's gonna be like repeats. So kind of like how last week... We did the no-breaking challenge, which is a challenge that I did two months ago. So, like, this Tuesday might be another no-drifting challenge. But mainly because <laughs> I was re-watching the VOD for the no-drift challenge stream to, like, find clips. And that was another interesting stream. <laughs> because with the no-drifting challenge, you basically have to rely on breaking more. And also, because you can't necessarily turn as easily on the tracks so you kind of have to oh i clicked the wrong button you kind of have to press um r1 to kind of like hop and like turn your bike mid-air and i think that would be another challenge to that would be another nice challenge to revisit but i kind of don't know what else to do for mario kart like i can't really think of anything besides like Learning like actual drifting tricks or like learning. I think someone mentioned in the chat to do like the smurf yourself to where you um, intentionally get a blue shell and then once you throw the blue shell you try and get up to first place. Um, someone did mention that that could be like a nice one off stream. But otherwise, like I can't really think of a different way to play the game, you know what I mean? Without modding it because. I keep saying this, but a lot of the inspiration for those Mario Kart challenge streams comes from, like, Smallant. If anyone is familiar with his content, um, he's a speedrunner, he streams on Twitch, and then he also has a YouTube channel. But he will do, like... Sorry, I'm concentrating. He will play, like, modded versions of games, whether it be, like, Odyssey or, like, Breath of the Wild, and then kind of make, like, a challenge speedrun of it. Which I think is really cool, really, like, interesting and, like, new type of content, right? But there's only so much you can do with a game with its base form, and I don't necessarily want to mod Mario Kart just yet. Mainly because, like, I've never modded a game, so I'm, like, kind of hesitant and kind of scared. I don't want to get scammed. I don't want to get goofed, you know? <laughs> because, like, there is different, like, playing modes, like, i.e., like frantic items, bananas only, bombs only, but I don't think that's enough like substance for like a full hour to two hour stream, you know? Because the thing I have noticed with the challenge streams in particular is that I should steal ideas from TikTok comments, honestly, honestly. Like I just post a clip specifically asking for stream ideas and then I yoink all of them. Let's do that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> a thing I have noticed with the challenge streams in particular is that a lot of people come in 
which I think is normal. The titles are usually really clickbaity. But then not a lot of people stick around because I understand how frustrating it is to watch someone either not be good at the game or like not play the game properly. Like I know even for myself, I much rather would watch like a 20 minute highlight video than a two hour stream, right? And a thing I want to focus on talking about stream is just like bringing people into the live because I think a good handful of people like the clips account which i think is really good really pog up but i'd like to see more people actually translate and show up to lives granted i know availability like the time morning time is probably not the best for people but it's the time that i have to work with throughout the week because everyone is home in the evening um but I don't know. I'm not saying that I'm going to change up my content. I said like a month ago, I want to try and do just chatting once a week. But then it's like, you kind of have to think of something with substance for a just chatting stream. Like, I'm fine with React Andy's. Like, I freaking love Hassan. <laughs> like, he is definitely like someone I can have all day in the background, like just listening to what they're saying. But I think if you're gonna do like React content, you yourself have to be good at commentating. Like either the stuff you react to is good. Like I personally really like the TV show meta <laughs> where people were just like watching Survivor or MasterChef because like the actual stuff they reacted to was like actual like content, right? Or um the actual like personality for the streamer has to have good enough commentary that is like additive and entertaining separate from what they're reacting to. So, I think, as I said earlier, I think my commentary has definitely gotten better, question mark. Um, but a lot of my commentary has evolved to less talking about myself and like personal story times to like reacting to what's on screen, like the game, or like making like an offhanded like joke about something that happened in the game. That's kind of like how my commentary has evolved over the past few months, which I think it's fine. I think it's good. Like, okay, I'm not saying my stream is the best, okay? But I think it's definitely better than what it was three months ago. Um, literally, anytime we play Animal Crossing, I talk about streaming. I don't, uh, is that cringe? I don't know. <laughs> I think a reason why, like, I talk about streams so much is because it, it's just really important to me. One, as, like, a good, healthy, creative outlet. Like, I'm still at the point where it's not, like, all-consuming. But it's nice knowing that I'm putting work into something and there is some type of, like, give and take, right? Right now, it's, like, people, like... To me, the thing that makes my day genuinely is when... Like, I mean, I'm so... Okay. So anytime, like, I get a super nice comment on any platform, I'll either screenshot it or save the comment. Because, like, there are days where, like, you feel, like, bad, right? And, like, seeing, like, one nice comment can definitely, like, lift me out of that mood, usually. And there's some really sweet ones that I've saved from TikTok. And they're just so cute. Um, because I don't necessarily like comments... That say oh you're cute oh you're pretty because you're just seeing me as an object at that point not like as like a sexualized object but like less of a person right that's why anybody in chat you can call me cute but don't call me pretty like don't don't do that like i don't want to be seen as this un unattainable person right like i want to be like relatable to a sense but like if you say like oh i like your clips or oh i like the stuff you make or i enjoy your stream that to me means like 10 times more than any type of comedy like oh you're cute because that shows that you actually like enjoy or appreciate what i'm trying to do with this like creative outlet that is streaming or editing and to me that just validates like all the time and effort and work i put into it yeah wholesome get wholesome streamer i try um but that, that's just kind of my viewpoint on it because a lot of times 
you will see people who either grow quickly or like pop off or do fairly well with either like YouTube or streaming. They develop that ego, right? Where they think they are untouchable, they think they are the shit. And granted, I'm still very small. I am very small. I'm still a who megalol streamer, right? But I don't ever want to lose touch of what content creation or streaming is, is at its core. Like, it's making stuff. It's making videos. It's developing your commentary. Producing content. Planning streams. Like, that's what it is. And a lot of times you'll see, like, a shift. Like, one smaller streamer hit, hit, like, a certain viewer point, like, in between what's required for partner numbers. Like, you'll see that change, and I've seen it happen, and I don't ever want to, like, lose that sense of humility, I guess. Because... I just want to make sure, like, people are enjoying what I'm doing or, like, genuinely, like, entertained or engaged with what I'm making, right? That's why, like, anytime... And my favorite thing... Um, if anybody follows me on TikTok, I know I have a lot of crossover from TikTok. But, like, if you like the videos, leave a comment. Um, one, it farms engagement, which is cool in Pago. But also, like, it's nice seeing, like, similar usernames in, like, the comment section. Because... Just to me thinking that someone who is like an active follower and they're taking that extra like minute to leave a comment, like that to me feels so good because like it shows that you like actually like it. You want to like engage with me or like what I do and it's really nice. I think because last or oh, not last Friday. Was it last Friday? Yeah, literally last Friday. Where we did the writing down all of my followers' username stream. Oh my god, I, I threw, I threw. Um, <laughs> it's very easy to see people as a number, and I don't want to lose that sentiment. Because behind every username, behind every profile pic is a person. And... Okay, I lost my train of thought right there. <laughs> I literally do not know where I was going with that statement. Anyway. <laughs> I think my inventory is just about full. Yeah, we have literally one more slot open. Did I eat lunch today? Yes, I ate lunch today. My sister ordered sushi. Ooh, guys. You, you know how they have, like, regular sushi and then they have, like, fried sushi? Where they just fry the whole ass sushi roll? Oh my god, it is so good. Undescribed... Uh, undescribably delicious and like we have a trappers in our area but like the trappers is like so far away so if we try and order delivery we literally get it like two hours later and there's like hella traffic today so no shot we're gonna get trappers so, like we got sushi from like a more like local place and the one i got was it had bacon uh, like spicy crab and cheese in it and it was just fried Oh my god, so good, so delicious. <laughs> like, if I ever get Richie Rich, I'm gonna hire a personal sushi chef just to make me sushi every day. Dude, that is the dream! Yeah, in my mega million dollar streamer house, we're gonna have a sushi chef.
ever tried to make sushi? It's surprisingly difficult. <laughs> like just rolling the rice tight enough to where it won't like explode on impact if you try and cut it is so difficult. Like I think the last place I went to was somewhere where you sat at the bar right next to the people making the sushi. And they are so quick. And like all the workers there at the time were like all sociable. They're like talking to you as they're like putting it together. Like their hands are flying. Because I think on, on weekdays, I think they had a special to where like it's all you can eat for like $25. But honestly, it's low key a scam because the average price of one roll at that place at the time was like $7. So in order to get your money's worth, you had to buy like four rolls in order to like it for it to be like a lesser price than the all you can eat price. So honestly, we got scammed. <laughs> um, I mean, the rolls there now are like average ten dollars. So badge. They probably also increased their buffet price. Rip. going to do a few more laps around the island because we can maybe get enough bait for either two or three more fishing tourney rounds. We're probably gonna have to buy more fishing rods too. Or we have three left. I think three should be fine because we've only broken two so far. So that shouldn't be too big a deal. A one tapper, dude. RNG's in our favor. There goes our shovel. I think I have another one. Yeah, let's go. Easy. Should we try and break out one of the questions from the book? I think we should try one at least. Ooh, one tapper. Okay, that makes up for the last one. So let's look at the first question from the book. Okay. Yeah, all these questions are kind of cringe. Okay, I found a good one. Do you have any nicknames? <laughs> Time for the book. Yes. Um. So one of the nicknames my dad used to for me when I was little was Megachu. Kind of like Pikachu, but Megan. So, Megan, Pikachu, Megachu. Right? So, <laughs> anytime he would, like, come home from work or I'd come home from school, he'd be like, oh my god, it's Megachu! But he would, like, say it super loud and boisterous. And it was the cutest thing. He doesn't do it as much anymore, but, like, sometimes casually he'd be like, hey, it's Megachu! <laughs> So, um, I think that's the only real nickname I ever had. Oh, okay, I do not like being called Meg. Though, like, I hate that shit. Like, just call me Megan. Cause, like, why are you shortening, like, a two-syllable name? I can understand, like, calling Nicholas Nick. Or Jonathan John. Cause that's, like, okay, I don't know why I can't line this up. Because those are like names with like three or four syllables, but like why are you shortening my name, Megan, to Meg? I do not appreciate it. I do not like it. Yes, I love the character from the Hercules movie. She is fucking hot. But also, 
Don't call me Meg. <laughs> don't test me, chatters. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're called by your middle name? Really? Homies knew your middle name before your real name? What? I, I don't think I can really relate to that because my middle name is hyphenated. Oh, freak. Because my middle name is... The first half- or the second half- or no. <laughs> the first half is my- one of my grandmother's names. And then the second half is a Japanese word. Because when my mom was naming my sister and I, she wanted our names to have, like, a part of both of my dad and my mom's family, I guess. So both my sister and my middle names are hyphenated. Oh, just by your family? Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> like, just so your friends coming over calling you by your middle name. <laughs> Seems a little weird. <laughs> Yeah, it would have been weird for me, because like like I said, my middle name is like my grandma's name. Okay, the nickname for me and my sister, we call each other stupid or dummy, so I- Is that a nickname, question mark? Or is that just bullying? I don't know. <laughs> oh, was it like a mean nickname they gave you? Cause that, that's like mean. I mean, then it's also family, so, like, you can't, like... I think with family, you can, like, goof and gaff a little bit more than you could, like, a normal person. But also, I feel like with family, you should be able to, like, call them out and stuff sometimes, too, you know? Like, I'll goof and gaff with my sister, but, like, any time where, like, the joke goes too far, or... If we're just not feeling it that day, we'll be like, hey, lay off. And we'll be like, okay. Got it. He's like, I won't press your buttons today. Ooh, another crawfish! Let's go. Okay, we're not getting much bait. Yeah, so that was the first question from our <laughs> question book. Um, I mentioned this before, but I think a really important ability you must have for, like, commentary or streaming is being able to, like, expand on topics. Like, you'll see it a lot in so a lot of smaller streamers to where, like, um, they'll see, like, a message in chat and, like, acknowledge it, but not kind of, like, push the conversation further. So, like, for example, um, um, Naito's previous messages when they were like, Oh, I was called by my middle name. What you'll see a lot of people do is they're like, Oh, oh, that's cool. And then not expand further than that, and then, like, the bare minimum response. But, you have to be able to, like, expand that conversation or your response to a length in which it's annoying. <laughs> like... <laughs> Which, <laughs> I don't want to be too annoying, okay? Okay, but like, if you are able to like, expand the one topic into like, multiple tangents that last for, I would say like, one or two minutes, I think that is good. Because it shows that you are able to like, one, think on the spot, and then also like, kind of prove to your chatters that you're genuinely like, taking into account what they're saying, you know? be that there's a lot going on chat. Yes, I agree with that as well. Like, if your chat is popping off, then I can understand, like, just, like, a simple acknowledgement of a message. But kind of like today, or, like, my chat size as of recent, to where people... Okay, I'm not saying you should be forced to chat but where it's not, like, popping off like someone who has, like, 70 viewers would, you know? <laughs> yeah, write this down. Write this down, guys. I love the the what is it, what's it called? What's it called? The noted emote, it's so good. <laughs> Try 
trying to get as much as of the chat is saying. Sorry, I, I had to reread your message a few times, Nigel, because I was like trying to figure out. Do you mean like yeah, go ahead and ask your question, Batty. Um, as long as it's appropriate. <laughs> You've been a good chatter so far, nothing don't cross the line then. Um I think also with chatters, like as I just asked Nigel, like it's hard to like understand so sometimes. Because kind of <gasps> Big fish, big fish! <laughs> Look at that. I caught an oarfish the other night. What do you think you can think about? Honey, what are you doing? Hmm, what do you... Okay, I can't read it. What do you think you can think about that I think? What is that emote? Hmm? Or thinking face gonna... What the... What the... Oh, like, reading most of it. Yes. Um, Batty, you're, you're trolling. You're actually trolling. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it does hurt my brain. That one... <laughs> I have jokes. I'm not gonna say jokes. I'm not gonna say jokes. <laughs> um, that one hurt a little bit, okay? That would have made the cogs in my brain stop moving for a second. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying, Nigel. Like, I feel like, especially when you're small, you should try to, like, acknowledge or... Um, I typically don't read off a message out loud of what the chat says, because I think... Okay, controversial opinion. Some people have varying opinions on this. But, like, I don't necessarily like when I read word for word what a chatter says, like, I will usually be like, oh, so-and-so, like, for example, Bob, da 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 with my response. I don't typically read out the message, like, word for word out loud. Like, I know some people appreciate it, like, if they're just listening to it, then they can, they don't necessarily have to look at chat to see what the person said that I'm responding to. <laughs> but I think the biggest part of a stream, right, is, like, the chat box. Like, the thing that is most entertaining in a big stream is chat, literally the chat box. So, I can kind of understand reading out a message word for word if the chat is going quick enough. But, like, if chat is slow enough where, like, viewers can read the chat along with me, I don't think I necessarily have to read me out a message. <laughs> Us? Yeah, chat is important. Like, to me, I love going in Connor Eats Pants and just spamming capital D colons. I think it is so fun. Yeah, exactly. I totally agree, Naito, where, like, if there's no chat box, you're just watching a video. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm at the point where I watch a lot- I, wa I watch a lot more Twitch than I do YouTube now. And if I'm watching, like, a stream highlight video and I see chat on the screen, I will, like, pause the video and, like, scroll up as if it was, like, a Twitch chat. <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, this is a YouTube video. I cannot go back and look at what chat said. <laughs> But going back onto like reading every message, I, I definitely read every message in chat, but I don't necessarily will read every message out loud. Or there there has been a few streams where like there is like a significant amount of people in chat. By that I mean like eight people actively typing, which hasn't happened often. It has happened like once. But then like I also feel bad if I can't read or acknowledge every message sometimes. But then, also, if your chat is popping off and what you're saying does not grab my attention, maybe, like, try harder. I don't know. <laughs> because, like, for example, if you're in a big streamer's chat, the only messages they're probably going to read or acknowledge is, like, funny shit or really mean shit. So, rules for chat, just say funny shit. Or if it's relevant to what we're talking about, contribute to that conversation, you know? Because, for example, we're talking about, like, chat culture, right? <laughs> Gonna start spitting out rhymes. Honestly, maybe. Last Animal Crossing stream, like, I think Plucky was doing, like, an impromptu, like, a rap. <laughs> um... <laughs> what was I gonna say? Are we gonna play Minicar Rhyme? What? 
what the crime of what <laughs> what what did I do? I did not steal, I did not scam. Um because to me, chat culture, like you're one there to like contribute to the stream, right? And then also you're kind of there to like help entertain other fellow chatters and like entertain the streamer a little bit. <clears throat> So like just say funny stuff and like other channels will like you like if you're in like a decent sized stream and like you see like regular chatters who are consistently like on point with their jokes you're gonna remember them right <laughs> that's why like if i'm in like a smaller streamer chat like i i'm the funny guy you know oh wait did i do the trait fuck God damn it, I thought I was selling fish! Okay, we're doing an impromptu tourney run. Impromptu tourney run. Okay, I, w I was not paying attention. Oopsie. <laughs> Gonna make the chat all mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yoink all of my attention. Go for it, dude. And, like, going into smaller streamers' chat and, like, they don't, like, kind of banter with you. I, like, banter a lot. But, like, chatters, you guys can goof and gaff with me a little bit. But, like, if you guys are, like, actively engaging with what I'm talking about or what I'm saying. Or, like, trying to, like, make your own jokes about something, like, like I said on a stream. Oh, you were rhyming? Oh, my God. I didn't even nice. <laughs> That's really good, hun. <laughs> okay, I threw, I threw. Naito out here spitting. Straight spitting. <laughs> okay, this run is actually horrible. We, all, we are... Halfway through, we only have three fish. Disgraceful. I mean, this was an unplanned run. Oh man, this sucks. I think we're only gonna have time for like maybe one more run. One more attempt to beat the PB of 10 fish. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree, Batty. Like, that's why I keep saying this. Like, I definitely want to try and like cultivate my chat culture in a way where I'm still small to like how I want it to be. I always say this whenever we talk about chat, but I want chat. If I can have like 20 chatters, Batty, I will be so fucking happy because Batty's chat is very similar to mine. Like my own personal logs. If you look at my logs, another people's chat is very similar to Batty's. Um, like just like. Like, just contributing, like, fun and engaging messages in chat. Like, that's my favorite. Like, with little bit of emotes mixed in, too. That's perfect chatter. Um. But, like, you'll go into <laughs> twinning, imagine. Like, yes, Reeves, I always bring up Bob. But, like, all this chat is just shitting on him the whole time. And, like, being rude. And, like, making fun of him. And, like, I don't want that. And what happens when you're small, if you let stuff slide, people will expect that as normal. Dude, we got a seven fish run. That's actually pretty decent for a spontaneous one. Anyway. <clears throat> um, what was I saying? That's why, like, if I don't like someone's messages, I, I will handle it quietly. Um, I, I haven't had to ban anyone live, thankfully. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that shit. Um... But, like, if I don't like a joke, I will call it out. If... I've had some people come in and self-promo. Um, I don't audibly acknowledge them, because that's getting what they want, right? They want some exposure. But, like, I will just quietly delete the message. I will quietly ban, right? Because with those type of people, well, don't give them attention. Also, if you guys are in chat and you see, like, someone is, like, trying to push my buttons, or, like, trying to be mean or rude, don't acknowledge them. Don't engage with them in chat. Me or the mods will, like, handle it quietly. Because those type of people, they just want attention. And when they see your reaction, they're either trying to, like, bait you for a clip, or, like, just trying to, like, push your buttons, right? So it's like, just don't... Don't egg them on, right? 
<laughs> yet. We haven't had to ban anyone yet. I am honestly... Okay, I know what to do if I get hate rated, okay? Um, a big reason why I didn't tag the LGBTQA plus tag for a long time is because I was really scared about getting rated. If anybody doesn't know, um, some really mean bully people will get bots, like spam bad words in your chat, or like spam your alerts with bad words, and that's to put it lightly, that's basically what a hate rate is. Um, I was genuinely so scared of that. That is a reason why I don't have um, Asian American or Hispanic tagged, because I feel like I feel like people will get a lot more heat if it's like a race tag than like a queer tag, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of black creators who are still to this day getting hate rated multiple times a week. And it's really sad to see that even though there is like tools in place, whether it be like follow, sub only, or emote only chats, those things are enabled. There is like authorized chatter enabled as well that is why like even if anytime you want to come to my chat room you have to agree to the rules and you have to have a verified phone and email like it prevents bots from typing in your chat because like we don't want people to come in and ba say bad things you know um but i feel like i know what to do if that happens it's still not fun to think about but i know what to do right <laughs> We're getting a lot of natural light in my room right now, and it looks so nice. Sorry, I'm just looking at myself. <laughs> um. And it sucks that, like, hate raids are still, like, a very real reality for some smaller streamers, and bigger streamers, too. Um. I knew we were goofing and gaffing about it during the follower-only stream. Nope, not the follower only the running followers name stream but like imagine because like getting follow botted isn't as bad the only really bad thing that could really happen is that like they just spam your alerts and like that's fine but also it's just really fucking annoying <laughs> Because, like, I think Twitch's policy is, if you do get follow-botted, as long as me, the creator, or no one in my community triggered that follow-bot, then I'm fine. Because it's not viewed, or not seen as follow-botting in terms of, like, inflating numbers falsely. But, like, typically with those bot accounts, Twitch will automatically delete those accounts within, a, like, I think up to a month. So, like... If you get follow about it. Oh god damn it, I did another fishing journey! <sighs> I did it again. I literally did it again. I'm so brain dead. I have no bait. I have no bait. Mm. <laughs> Sag. Oh no. I, I don't want to waste any bait on this. I wasted $500, guys. This is what happens. When I start talking, I just lose all focus. Okay, you know what earlier I said some people who play the game properly, quote unquote, they won't use any bait during the fishing journey and they literally, literally just run around the island for the full three minutes? That's so dumb. Actually, D-U-M. Do not do that. Please do the strats I told you today. Make sure you have your bat bait queued up. Make sure you have a lot of bait in your inventory. Make sure you have your fishing rod in your hands. Find a good spot to where you can just keep dispensing bait over and over again. If has anybody ever beaten ten fish? Imagine someone beats my PB using my strats. That would be crazy. There's a two-player strat. You're coping. You're literally coping, Batty. You literally do not have the game. You told me, like, an hour ago that you're saving up for this game and you're, like, watching this stream for strats. You're literally capping. <laughs> but there's a strat with two players. I did it. You can do the fishing journey with... <laughs> with two players? I wonder how that would look like. Oh, is, there's probably, like, videos on that strat, right, Naito? This is on the airport, other on the beach. From the airport, you fish. 
You have the game, Pogo. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> okay, my inventory is full. Oh no, I was talking- I was talking to Batty. Batty was saying in chat that they're saving up for the game, I think. Not you, Nigel. Not you. Not you. Even though your usernames are the same colors, I do get confused. But not you, hon. <laughs> okay, look at this run. We are at a whopping one single fish, guys. I, I think this is gonna be our- <laughs> our world record run. Yeah, another thing I need to, like, work on is... <laughs> Lamo. <laughs> oh, you changed your color? Oh, <laughs> you're so funny! <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, your, your username Naito is, like, this medium orange now. Bro, what if I was colorblind? <laughs> I'm not. That would suck if I was colorblind though, TBH. Like, I know some of my friends are colorblind and it fucking sucks, dude. Like, they can still drive and shit, but still, like, imagine not seeing, like, the full color range. That'd make me so sad, like, actually. Okay, I know- Oh, hey, you guys know what time it is? We're two hours in the stream, you know what that means. It is ad time, baby! Is part of my Twitch contract. I have to run ads. But you can avoid that ad for subscribing for just $4.99 a month. The cost of a single a Starbucks coffee is literally more than that. So just skip a coffee for a day and you can have ad reviewing and cool sub emotes all month. And <laughs> um Yeah, this, or or sorry, I forgot the Twitch Prime Shield. Or you can link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account to get a free subscription. Every month. Isn't that cool? Ooh, look at this natural lighting, though. Because the window in my room faces um, the setting sun. Look at all this natural lighting. My ISO is so fucked up right now. See, now you can see the, the lights back here. Actually, let's run that ad. <laughs> so, non-subs, we will see you in a few. Subs, you guys are cool. You get to hang out with me for a little bit more. <laughs> okay, but look at this natural lighting. Oh, see, look. Now you can kind of see my starlights. Because I have my ISO adjusted for morning lighting, not golden hour lighting. It's about 440 right now. Um, yeah. This is it's weird how, like, bright it is in here. Like, I don't think I even need my ring light. Let's see, let's see. Let's see what it looks like without the ring light. Yo, I literally don't need my ring light right now. Oh, this, I don't like this. You guys see this? I don't like it. It looks like tape. Like, you know the athletic tape? Okay, okay. <laughs> there was a butterfly- you can't see my mouse. There was a butterfly that flew across, like, the left side of the screen, and I legit thought it was a fly right next to my TV and I got scared. <laughs> um. Anyway, let's go back to the game. Um. Oh, okay. I have some bait. I think we have enough bait for one more run. We can do one more fish tourney run today, guys. We got time for one more. <laughs> Dude, it'd be amazing. If this final run, I got 11. That'd be crazy. Okay, I think we are ready. Okay, before we do our final room of the day, 
That way we can wait. We can stall a little bit for the non-subs. Let us sell our fish and not accidentally trigger another tourney by accident. Let's not do that again. Okay, we're emptying our cooler. Okay, we're going to talk to him. We're going to- there's something else. Okay, we didn't accidentally trigger the tourney this time. Thank God. Because I am not ready for our final run of the day. I do not want to throw. So we're good. Ooh, 13k, let's go! Okay, before we start our last attempt of the day, we are going to make sure we have our bait. Okay, actually, I'm going to drag this next to the pile with two in it, because this might be the 11 fish run. We don't know yet. And we're going to have our 10 bait queued up in our inventory. We are going to have our fishing rod in hand. Actually, I'm going to use a fishing rod we haven't touched today. Because I don't want the fishing rods to break. <laughs> okay, we are ready to go into our final attempt today. Okay. Now, I'm going to concentrate my hardest for this run. I'm not going to talk. I might talk. I, I don't think I'm going to talk. I don't know. <laughs> oh, we got a fish at spawn. We have a fish at spawn. And of course, it does not line up. You know that it's fine. That's just eight seconds. <laughs> Baddie, stop. Actually, don't stop. That's really funny. Okay. I knew one of y'all was gonna do that. You know that animated emotes always get me. Like, I have to look at chat whenever I see one. So if y'all wanna be mean, just spam Meg Spins this whole time. Oh, a one-tap big fish! Okay, okay. We have two fish in the first 30 seconds. This is looking really good. Ooh, two tap. Okay. This would honestly be a horrible time for someone to give me a million subs, guys. It would be horrible. <laughs> Imagine. That'd be fucking insane. <laughs> Fish being caught, like... Uh, okay, that was good, that was good. For actually, imagine someone dropping. Is that possible? No, 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 no. I don't think that even be possible because it only lets you give like a hundred at a time, right? But imagine dropping five milli. I don't think Twitch would let you do that. But like, I don't think your bank account would even let you do that either. Imagine that'd be crazy. Oh, okay, please, come on, three tap. Give you a three tap. That's good. Oh, it just got really dark in my room. Awkward. I'm turning the ring light back on. There we go, a little bit better. Okay. This is looking like a 9 or a 10 run. I might have lost- I might have lost the second for putting on the ring light, but you know, we needed that light. Totally worth. Ooh, a two tap big fish! Look at that! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my 
I got villain faster. Oh, this could have been a. Oh no, fuck. Oh, please. And it would have been a one tap. It just didn't line up properly. What'd I get? I got nine, right? Yeah, I think that was a nine run. <laughs> yeah, that was a nine run. That was a really good run, though. That was a really good run. Oh, wait! Okay, I sped through it. <laughs> no PB. I know, no PB. Sag. Sag. <laughs> Unfollows, unsubscribes. But that was a good run. Honestly, that was a, that was a good run. On pace for maybe an 11, but 9 is still decent. I think the best, like, place to stand is right here. Because I think I was standing right here. And when you stand right here, the fish usually, is, usually spawn here or here. So I think the best spot has to be right here. To stand. Oh, you guys see this? I do not like this. Target acquired. <laughs> okay. Awkward. Mom and dad are fighting. Um. <laughs> I think that's my cue to leave. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. We're fine. They're getting ready to go on like a, a, a week trip. And they're just stressed out of their fucking minds, dude. Okay. I think for the rest of today, I think we just need to get the flowers watered and cross-planted and then we can call it a stream i am really happy with how the fishing journey went i know we still have an hour left but i am honestly tuckered out wait i forgot to put the the hat on for fishing mode sag too bad <laughs> um i don't know about y'all but people who wear costumes for stream are cringe i'm calling out these scootish the partnered streamer Scootish. You wear costumes? That's cringe. <laughs> that, actually, that, that's funny. Not funny. <laughs> you know what actually sucks? The only thing I do not like about TikTok is that, like, the moment a single person reports your account, your account can get, like, taken down. Like, it doesn't get vetted. It just immediately gets taken down. Like, I hear people talking about how, like, their TikTok lives get reported all the time. And, like, they can't stream for, like, two, three days. And it feels bad. It sucks. It feels bad, man. But, like, also, the moderation tools for TikTok lives are actually kind of cringe and bad. So, <laughs> that's why, like, I know I definitely censor myself here on Twitch. Like, if anybody knows me IRL or if we're in DMs, I'm, <laughs> I'm very, like, vulgar. <laughs> um... I know exactly. Like, people be reporting the, like, most wholesome people. And it's just totally unfair. Ooh, wait, do you guys see this? Okay, I'm trying to line it up. Look at that. Ain't that cool? Let's go to full cam. I don't- I actually want to see how this looks. <laughs> I can't line it up. Wait. It's gone, it's gone. Moment's over. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, that's why, like, this TikTok is cool, but also kind of scary. Like, that's why, like, I try and be nice to everyone. Because I don't want any hate watchers, okay? <laughs> um, that's also why I don't have a Discord yet. Because the, a thing 
I've said this several times, but like a thing that I'm generally concerned about is like Hello! Welcome to the chat. Hope we are doing well today, Major Moki. Um, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Otherwise, feel free to chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy. But thank you for coming in the stream. Oh, we came in on a weird topic. <laughs> um Oh, no problem, man. I, I I genuinely appreciate when people come in and say hi. Cause like I know like people are busy, people have like actual lives. But like even if you just say hi, because like just seeing like regular people or like usernames in chat definitely feels good, you know? So if someone says hi, go for it. That's still nice and cool. <laughs> um What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. The reason why I don't necessarily have a Discord just yet. It okay. I was thinking about it, and maybe even chat was trying to convince me. She had one good argument, but like, I think if I ever have a Discord, I think... Oh, you- that's interesting, um, Moki or Major. That's interesting that you met me through, like, another creator. Hmm. Feeling my flowers? Thank you, man. I'm actually gonna end soon, so awkward. <laughs> but I appreciate you coming in to say hi. Maybe you can catch another stream. Because, like, I usually don't stream at this time. Um, my schedule is in my about section. My usual time is 11 a.m. on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But maybe you can catch another one. <clears throat> um, what was I gonna say? Okay, reason why I don't have a Discord. Um, I think if I ever have a Discord, it's probably going to be subscriber only. Because, to me, like, like we talked about earlier, I'm honestly, yeah, no problem. I appreciate you coming to say hi, man. Bye. <laughs> um, I'm honestly really, genuinely like scared and concerned if I ever get like hate rated or something. And you know how there's like fur gating happening on like discords or Reddit, where like another fandom or like another creator will come in and stir trouble. Um, like I said, I don't have any beef with anyone, so I generally don't think that it's gonna happen. But like, especially with Discord servers too. Um, not that it's difficult to moderate, but all it takes is for one person to, like, submit something TOS or, like, really bad or, like, triggering for people that ruins it, right? So, I think in order for me to, like, be fully comfortable and, like, safe if I'm gonna have, like, a public Discord, I think it would have to be sub only. Because in my head, if someone is choosing to, like, invest money into the stream every month or like choose to like because to me subscribers are people who actually like the content or who genuinely like want to support me right and i understand some people can't afford and that's totally fine but i think because like with discords too a lot of members i know in the discord servers i'm in of other streamers i genuinely feel a lot closer with the streamer after joining the discord server and i understand that's the purpose of having a public discord server but like i don't want randos who i don't really know to like feel like they're close to me you know what i mean it's just like i'm also new to like online culture like ie like online friendships that type of thing and I was raised in a way to be like, internet is bad, strangers are bad, right? So I'm just like overly cautious. Um, like I said, it's not in the works. I'm just like spitballing and explaining stuff as of right now. Um, Cause like, I would like to engage with the people who like want to engage with me. Like, I think it's nice to feel like you have genuine connections with your chatters or your viewers. But, like, I also need to protect myself, you know? And, like, I also don't want, like, other people to be hurt in the process. Like, I don't want any, like, kids to be groomed in a Discord server, right? Because uh, that seems to be happening a lot. Also, if I have a Discord, it's gonna be 18+. plus. I don't want any fucking kids in there, okay? Okay. Because, <laughs> like I said, my personality off-stream in, like, in DMs, I'm a lot more, like, raunchy and, <laughs> like vulgar so like i don't want any kids seeing that shit <laughs> i don't even know what i'm doing oh yeah i'm collecting apples but i just don't want anybody to get hurt you know 
And like, if someone was like exposed to something triggering in my Discord server, I would feel genuinely so bad because I have like the anxiety where like I will blame myself for every little thing, even if it's not my fault, right? Like I just feel responsible for everything in my life. Even if it happens to other people, like, I, I feel responsible for it. That's just how, like, my brain is wired. That's how, like, my anxiety functions, and it sucks. But... E... <laughs> Sagia. Lamau. <laughs> uh, it sucks, dude. But I have healthy coping mechanisms, so... It's manageable, but still not fun at times. What I have noticed is that streaming does make me feel a little bit better. Because, as we talked about earlier, streaming is, like... A creative outlet to me at its core right but it's also like it gives me a reason to like talk to people you know <laughs> and i know streaming like especially when you're talking about like your chat box it can be an echo chamber at times but when we're still small um i literally forgot what i was gonna say <laughs> when we're still small It feels more, like, intimate, I guess? I mean, that's definitely the appeal of, like, a small streamer. You get to, like, actually, like, engage one-on-one -on -one with the broadcaster, right? But everything just feels so real, I guess? I don't know. It sounds weird when I try and put it that way, but... It gives me, like, at its core, a creative outlet, but also, like, a, a chance to, I guess, practice my social skill so I cannot talk, I guess. It gives me, like, a way to, like, practice my social skills. Because when I was working last year, um, like, working customer service definitely helped shape my personality. Right? It made me slightly more outgoing, a lot less scared to talk to people. And it kind of, like, because when you're working in food service or customer service, you're, like, forced to talk to the customers. Like, forced to engage in small talk, which I think is fine. It's kind of awkward, but yeah, it's fine. Um, but ever since I stopped working, like, you lose that social, like, a reason to socialize, right? And on days where I don't stream, I definitely feel sad. Because I'm like, I know it's not good for me if I stream every day. Because that's not gonna help your content, because... Like, how are you gonna think of something to talk about every single day, right? But then I'm also like, I'm not talking to like my chatters. Or like, I'm not playing a game. Because like, a lot of games I play on stream, I don't play offline. The only game I play consistently offline has got to be Unite. Which I know we don't play on stream anymore. But honestly, Unite was kind of boring to watch, so I feel like that was a good executive decision. Anyway. Um. Why am I here? I meant to walk in the stupid store. Let's get out of here. Okay, this light. I do not like this. Okay, I'm actually gonna fix my curtain real quick. <sighs> can I even reach my curtain? I don't think I can. Okay. Is this a good idea? I might knock over the camera, but that would be no good thing to do. Haha. That, does that work? Does that work? No. That did not work. Sag, now it's worse. Whatever, it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> this is why I don't like evening. Because, like, I can't control the lighting as much. And it bothers me. Anyway, we're- Oh, bug. Okay. You ever go into, like... I hate when people... <sighs> okay, hot take, hot take, hot take. But, like, I am very much a person. Like, with my friends. To clarify, with my friends. Like, you guys- My friends can talk to me about anything. Like, I will listen. I will help you, like, walk through stuff. But, like, if we don't have an established connection yet, or, like, if it's a random person, I don't want to talk to you about your shit. <laughs> like, I'll see clips of people, like, chatters, who will, like, trauma dump in the chat room for like the streamer and all of the viewers to read and see and it's like 
Pumi, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? It's like, do you think that is appropriate to share? Like, like my biggest anxiety with that ever potentially happening is every person has their desired response, right? Like, for example, maybe they want to be comforted. Maybe they want to be left alone. Maybe they just need someone to talk to. But me, as this person who doesn't know you, I don't know what's the best way to respond to you, right? Because... Like, if I say the wrong thing and make that chatter feel worse, then it's my fault, right? When they should have kept certain things to themselves. Like, I have a command. I haven't had to use it yet. But... It's a mod only command, but it's just like a gentle reminder to where keep things to yourself to an extent. Like I'm fine with talking about like slightly deeper topics if it's related to what we're talking about, but don't tell me that your dog that your dog died yesterday. Like how 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 can I react to that in a way besides like oh I'm sorry? Like th there's nothing I can do. Like I don't know you. I don't know what's the right way to like make you feel better. You know what I mean? It's just like. Don't do that shit. Like, why are you talking to your a random streamer? Like, talk to your friends. Talk to your parents. Like, don't put it on somebody else to make you feel better if they don't know how to help you, you know? Have I seen the XQC clip? I think, I think I know the clip. What is the sound bit? I feel like- I, I think I've watched the clip, but I can't pinpoint which which one it is. I'm gonna have to look that up later, Daddy. Cause like, XQC, I used to think he was the dumbest person, but some of his takes are like, actually based and good at their core. I'm not a juicer, I'm not a juicer! But some of his takes are pretty good. Like... We're not drama farming right now, but like how like Keemstar was bringing up like his previous like bigoted comments he said in a game and like XQC, it was from an article from like 2018 that Keemstar was like, oh my god, this is a Twitch streamer that's big and being platformed. But then XQC like replied on Twitter with a video just being like, you know, I don't like taking down videos of this clip because, you know, it shows an older version of me and I have matured past that point and I think it's good to acknowledge my past mistakes. And it's just like, go off! Like, I think it's so mature to, like, acknowledge your past wrongdoings. Because, like, if you try and delete stuff, it's only going to encourage people to, like, try and dig it up more. So it's best to, like, acknowledge your wrongdoings and change for the better. Okay, I think... Okay, let's donate some stuff to me, Zan, before I take. Do I have- I thought I had a based amount. Do I do it? I thought I did. Oh, I didn't enable it! Because I think there is a Pepe based emote. I think for 7 TV. I'll have to enable that later. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make our donations. And then call it a day, guys. Um, I don't think we're gonna do Yulafi Lose. I kind of want to save that for Tuesday. I think it's kind of good. We only had to use the book of questions one time today. Because I think it's good to have that book of questions, but I don't want to rely on it too much, you know? Oh, I almost X'd out of here. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, I changed our sub goal. I think our sub goal now says... Um... A new animated sub emote. Because I thought about it. And I, I don't need new Tombos. I got a new pen set. They're not as nice as Tombos. But I don't need Tombos right now. <laughs> so. I don't expect to hit the sub goal anytime soon. Um, but I think. That is like something that. Everyone would enjoy. Like if we could get one more animated emote. That'd be super pogo. That'd be poggers. Um. But I can't unlock that slot until we hit 50 subs. That might be a while. But that, that's why the goal has changed. Um, let's see. Okay. I think I'm gonna call it a day here. Because we watered our flowers, we harvested our apples, 
Um, we did the fishing tourney. We got a PB of 10, which is actually really freaking good. You matched my PB from two years ago. I think. We're gonna save here. Okay. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this looks so bad. I look so pale right now. I do not like this lighting. Yes, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna sit over here. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, thank you to anybody who came in the stream today. I know today was kind of like an impromptu, unscheduled Animal Crossing stream. But we had to do it for the fishing tourney. We had to do it. Um. Yeah. Thank you to anybody who came in the stream. Thank you to any chatters or lurkers. I appreciate everyone. It- I say this like every stream, but it's nice to see people coming back and chatting. It feels good, you know? Um, before I head out, if you want to see more of my offline stuff, you can check out my other social media accounts. If you haven't already, go follow my TikTok. Please! I was gonna slam the table, but I don't think that's a good bit. Uh, anyway. Follow the TikTok. I'm trying to do more lives on that account as well. Uh, oh, oh, big thing, big thing. Gentle reminder, make sure you guys are filling up that You Laugh, You Lose form. Um, I am doing a viewer submitted You Laugh, You Lose for my birthday stream on the 24th. We have about two more weeks to submit videos, guys. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, there's another alert in there, Sag. Um, but you, you submit three of your favorite aha funny YouTube videos, and I will react to them on stream. I don't- I don't think anybody I know is live right now. I don't- I genuinely don't think anyone is live. Let us see. Let us see. My Wi-Fi is poop right now. Actually horrible. Why is it not loading? Yeah, nobody I know is live. Imagine we raid out to Mizkif. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna watch Ms. Kip right after this actually. <laughs> um Yeah, I think that is all I have. Once again, thank you to anybody who stuck around, thank you to anybody who like was with me whole stream. I know like Batty and Naito were here like the whole time. So thank you guys for coming and chilling and hanging out with me. Thank you to any lurkers as well. Um I will be back again for on two Oh, I spelled schedule wrong, imagine. There we go. I will be live again on Tuesday, 11 a.m. And then Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, another thing. For anybody who wasn't in stream on Thursday, I changed the rules for the SM3D World run to be anytime I game over, I gift subs. We gifted one sub on Thursday. Because right now, I think we ended off on... I know, honey, I can't spell. Also, I can't tell. My nails are really long. You guys see this? They are so freaking long right now. I Look at this. They are fucking claws i need to tr i'm gonna trim them tomorrow i might do i might do a nail painting stream on tiktok either tomorrow or monday so look forward to that make sure you guys have go lives on tiktok as well as here um well anyway the 3d world stream so anytime i game over i give subs on thursday i only game over one time so i get to chat with sub um yeah so that is the new run for 3d world which is happening on thursdays so make sure you guys check that out. Um, if you are new to the stream, drop a follow. <laughs> I don't know if anybody new is here right now. But if you don't already, make sure you guys have go live notifications. That way you'll catch extra bonus streams like today is. That way you'll get pinged from Twitch on when I'm live. Okay. I'm gonna head out. I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you to anybody who came and hung out with me today. Thank you for spending some time on your Saturday watching me mauled at this stupid fishing tourney. I appreciate everyone. I'm not liking this this lens flare shit. I did not like this shit. Okay. <laughs> Bye.